Jibnal wrote an actual good episode? What the flux? And this is where I'd play an intro if I had one. You know, Faroos has an intro. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? Alright, so the episode had a lot of stuff in it. It was kind of like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 where in that movie it would just set up a bunch of other movies. Or in this case, episodes. There was so much going on in this episode. Like, they went to 1800s Liverpool for like a few minutes to do something. I kind of forgot what. But, you know, it was never brought up again. It doesn't connect to the episode at all. And, you know, you got like a bunch of stuff like that in this episode. Just stuff that doesn't actually connect. It's just set up for future episodes. And I understand that there's only six episodes this series, so you kind of have to cram a bunch of stuff in one episode. So hopefully the next five episodes don't do what episode one did. If the whole series is just set up towards the next episode and then finally the finale, I suppose I'd be fine with that because even though I don't want that to happen at all, the TARDIS team is good this time. Yes, Yaz is still in the TARDIS by the way, it's just that she's actually written well. There was a time jump and now she's more experienced, she's co-piloting the TARDIS with the Doctor. I think that's pretty cool. The opening of the episode where they're both dangling above acid was good, I liked it. I like seeing them in danger because I can imagine them dying and this era being over. But seriously though, I liked Yaz arguing with the Doctor, which is something a lot of people have been wanting for a while since her and the other companions would always agree with the Doctor. But this time, when the Doctor makes a mistake, Yaz actually digs in and says, yes, this is your fault. And it's nice to see this Doctor get held accountable for stuff since she usually gets away with so many things. Seeing Yaz and the Doctor together in the TARDIS made me wish we got more episodes of just them and maybe Dan could join the team later on. But Dan seems like a good companion. Every scene that he's been in has been my favourite part of the episode. It's, it's all good. We haven't seen him interact with the Doctor yet, but his interactions with Yaz have been great. I think there's some rivalry between them, with him being from Liverpool and her being from Sheffield. That could have just been a one-off joke, I don't know. All I know is that Liverpool is a dumb name. It's just the words liver and pool together, and that makes no sense. Like what, you just have a pool filled with livers? Okay. Dan has, I think, a friend called Diane who luckily doesn't go into any cars, but she did go into a house which was calling her. I actually found that part quite funny and I don't know if that was intentional or not, but basically there was a voice coming from the house calling Diane and it was being all creepy and sinister sort of and Diane wouldn't go inside. So then the voice just got a bit more aggressive and I just found that funny. We don't actually know what the deal with that was yet, just like most of what happens in the episode. But we do find out that the voice was Swarm's sister who I just realized I haven't talked about yet. So so let's move on to him. I liked Swarm, I think he was good. His method of killing was pretty scary. He'd just slowly break someone apart into shards and the shards would then go into his body. Like, you know, first Tim Shaw and now Swarm. Chibnall sure has a thing for villains putting their victims body parts on them. Guess I can't say much since I created Nutsack Joe who, who wears his victims testicles on his belt. Swarm seems to have a history with the Doctor and I actually have a theory that that the version of the Doctor that he's met is the Roof Doctor since I think Swarm refers to 13 as the Doctor and like how would he know that she's called the Doctor if he hasn't met them before when they were called the Doctor and I think Roof is the only one that's called the Doctor so yeah possible Roof return maybe like what if 13 goes to meet Roof and is like hey you're gonna tell me about Swarm and what the flux is because I don't know any of that like Swarm talks about memory erasure and stuff and you know the timeless child would get their memory erased like every regeneration I think so yeah I think it's possible that the Roof Doctor could return and if not then I just think that's a wasted character because Roof Doctor is a good doctor. Right, so there's not really much else to talk about since a lot of it doesn't make much sense without the context of future episodes, so I guess I'll just briefly go over them. Centaurans are back, they're in this episode, and they're still being used for comedy, I think it's pretty good. Some don't like it, but I don't care. The Weeping Angels were here for a bit, it was sort of a blink and you miss it moment. Get it? 
Yeah, I thought it'd be too complicated for you. But yeah, Weeping Angels were there for a couple of minutes. They zapped someone back in time. And that's all we got. I don't understand why people don't just wink at them. Like, just close one eye, keep another open. And then swap eyes after. We'll definitely be seeing Claire again since she brings up stuff about knowing the Doctor. And she did also know what Weeping Angel was. So yeah, we're seeing her and the Angels again. And we're probably going to find out that the Angels were Time Lords. Which was already basically confirmed. Confirmed, sort of like there's a lot of connections between weeping angels and time lords so yeah we might as well just get proper confirmation vinda was in this episode and he was in a ship called rose i think that's a bit of an odd choice to name a ship after a flower but okay i guess there's literally nothing else to say about vinda right now except he has an inappropriate name if you look up what it means there was a bit in the episode when dan refused to give a grown man some sweets and i genuinely thought he'd egg the house because of that i even made tweets about it and how the doctor would make a comment about the eggs being an odd decoration choice but that never happened and i hate chibnall now because i expected something to happen and it didn't happen final thing to mention is that the doctor uses a virus which she got from the orphan 55 episode which i think was amazing because it had the absolute sigma male chad that is benny so any episode that references him is an instant 10 out of 10 all right time to end the video